we're back to Kern, but uh, we're at the big track this time. As we're in Arca, um, I've been struggling to get going because I've been having issues. I realized VSync, turning that off like I did for the test with the Cars Tour here is screwing things up for me now. So uh, I had to turn VSync back on once I finally figured that out. Um, so I had to restart my computer because I thought first I just needed to restart the computer and then that didn't work and then I had a line of pixels that wasn't rendering in the proper place in the middle of my screen so I had to fix that and then I finally got, oh, let's do VSync and turn that back on and that seems to have solved the issue. So I have no laps. We got uh, Dirt Gavin in here. Haven't raced him in a while. And uh, we don't have Austin. I figured those two went everywhere together. Apparently not. Um, do we know any of the other names? I don't. But we'll see if anyone says hello. So we've got to try to be quick. We're the number three, so hopefully we can get up to speed, but I have not, I've got one lap under me that wasn't interrupted by stutters causing me issues, and now it feels like they're back, because anything under 140 or just feels like I'm getting stutters. We got through the exit of two, that's where the main problem was, so hopefully we're good there, but I'm feeling a little scary loose. Are we at least fast? Well, we're third fast, but that doesn't mean anything. There we go, we got a guy who's just stomping in the middle of the track. Oh, we are two tenths off. Okay, well. Let's hope we don't screw this up. Don't need to punish ourselves We're starting in the back. Especially because this is a weak field. Only 2,100. Not, uh, not that strong of a field. Green flag, green flag. A little bit of a run coming to the line. And not go all the way down low. That may even run the second group here. Oh damn, that freaking little dip there. We at least go 4-3-1. That's a positive. Try to get a little lower here. Get a better exit. Nope, not getting a better exit. 4-3-1 will be good though. Just needed to clean up that exit a bit, but that would have only got us into the high threes. And it looks like we have absolutely nothing for this number one car. He, he's looking like he's going to walk away with this one. We got a tenth and a half to dirt, Gavin. Makes me feel good. Can we keep a tenth and a half to everyone else? This is a very, very spread out qualifying so far. Still got a lot of cars to go, though. Could easily get beat and move to third. And I actually think I'd rather start in second than third for this track. So... We're still P2. How many do we got left? We got one guy left to go, and he's not doing anything, and the other guy's not in the server, so we're going to get a sit around for 
Yeah, we're going to get to sit around for two and a half minutes because no matter what this says, if it gets to 130, it resets for absolutely no reason. But I want to keep that qualifying in this video just to, if anyone's looking to learn how to do a 4 3. Not going to learn how to do a 3 here, but maybe if you're looking for a 4 3, I can help you out. So, we've got, man, we got a lot of speed difference here. This is, this one might get scary. We might have quite a bit. See, we were 13 seconds away from being able to go, but then iRacing decided that no, 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 we should sit here and wait another minute and a half because, I, like, do they know that's a bug? I reported it, nothing happened, but it gets really, really annoying because we could be going to the race now. But for no logical reason, we're sitting here for another minute. I'll send them an email and show them this video and say, please fix this. So yeah, everyone is excited about um, the new dev updates. We're getting a good uh, paved oval, as we go, and a dirt oval the same track so that'll be good for big blocks it'll be interesting to see what late models do there uh, it's a very big big track but flat also going to be interesting to see how they handle the pave side of it are they gonna try to mimic the foam blocks I mean, I know we're not going to have foam blocks flying around because you'd have idiots going up and hitting them under green like they do with the cones, but um, yeah, that's going to be interesting to see how they actually implement that or if they're just going to be solid objects up on the top of the track, which shouldn't be too big of an issue because you're not running the wall there, but... That is going to be a bumpy, awkward track. That thing is old, and it Line dips and dives. Is closed. And Pit road is closed. It's definitely New York likes their... I think that's New York, right? But, yeah, that area just likes their oddly shaped tracks. They, they're not like Florida, where everything's a perfectly straight line, and perfect 180 degree turn like New Smyrna, USA they uh, they like their tracks to have a whole lot of character and yeah, but a long time ago there was a contingency that if they were going to scan the track they needed to scan a super mod, at least that's what the rumor was highly doubt we're getting a super mod. I just... If they did it, it would have to be free. Because there's so few people that know anything about them. And although it's a fast car, it's not going to race well when every car is the same. Just, it's not going to provide good racing if they ever got you don't it. get any extra tire sets for this race, so let's be smart out there. You would need to have a whole lot of variation, and uh, I think it's got a lot of power and a lot of grip, and there's a hundred thousand versions of them uh, because they're pretty much just all homemade crazy contraptions 
So, at least from my perspective from the middle of Nebraska, that's what I know about them. I've seen them race in real life. The racing isn't that great. Uh, I watched them at Thompson. I also watched them at Rocky Mountain Raceway in Salt Lake City. Obviously, that was a terrible track for them. <laughs> really short, really high banked, but it's cool to watch them go fast for one lap on their own, go. but it's, he might as well just throw an F1 car out there on an oval uh, because the passing is just non-existent because it's just too quick in the corner. Which is a problem with a lot of race cars in the modern day. Too quick, aero-dependent. Let's focus on this race now that we're finally to it. Don't need to worry about the one car. He's already won. Unless he uh, doesn't make it through lap traffic. We just need to focus on not slamming down the right foot. Oh, I just got super tight there for no reason. Okay. One car may be fast, but does he know how to race for the win? He can go out and do 45 fast laps, but I don't think it's going to be quicker than just being calm. Looks like he's got to calm down. I was hoping to see him slide around more. I'm really, really, really super tight now, though, in the center of the corner. I was not expecting that. Here's where we have a chance to win. With this guy getting wrecked out. That's about our only shot. Eighteen five. he's not going too hard. Looks like we got a few people behind us pushing it hard, trying to get around Gavin. I'm not going to worry too much about that. They're going to flash their tires up. And start to struggle. Gavin can't really back off and let him go, because then he's just going to get freight trained. That gave us a few... Tents of a gap while they were side by side. I nearly just drove it into the wall though. Don't need to do that again. Did that in the cars to her. Trying the high side. Just run six and sevens. We have no reason to go any faster. Slap car is not doing too terrible about the same pace as the leader. When I watched Gavin's video, it looked like he had a lot of grip. I am not feeling that grip. Holding point eight behind us. Hopefully that guy is pushing really hard. More cars stop down low. It's just going to drive straight up the track in front of everyone. It's a good thing he made that hard right turn to get going again. Saved him from losing all his spots. And then he pulls over and lets everyone go. Do not understand some people's mentality after they wreck. Lap car getting loose in front of us. Fourth place getting loose behind us. It's been interesting so far. Lost a ton of time because of it. We're just not 
one, two. At the right speed, off the corner there. Got massively loose. We start running the high line on exit of four. Just to reduce going over that little hump that's there. I think if the seven was quicker than us, he would have attacked there. The two looks like he's been chilling. I don't even know where Dirk Gavin went. But only 15 laps in. We knew we weren't going to beat the one car. not had any help from lap traffic, so well, we just got to hope this guy's overdriving a bit. We got for a safety rating out of him. Okay, he's clean. 4.4. This guy still hasn't figured out how to keep it straight. Is that the same car that spun out in front of us? I thought it was an eight car that spun out in front of us. Well, I'm gonna assume someone else is gonna spin out in front of us. It's gonna be that one type of race, it seems. Who the hell knows which direction he's gonna go. He's just going to stop in the middle of the track and then slide up the track and then turn down off the corner. Outside if you want to. Let's see if we can open this gap up a little bit. Don't need the guy right on my bumper. Especially if I make a little bobble. It's only going to get me spun. Plus having a little bit of a gap to him will help us when we have to dodge any other lap traffic. Point three to the leader, it's been stuck around that, so we don't have any extra speed from going slow earlier. That's one way. Really my focus is don't slam on the gas out of the corner. And don't slam on the brakes too hard into the corner. Let's go last lap. Kind of search around and see what is actually quicker. And we got some lap cars racing side by side. One of them spun out already. I don't even think he's, no, he's not even on the same lap as the guy he's trying to stay ahead of. Now he's letting him go and maybe heading to the pits. He slowed down enough that I could trust that he was going to stay on the apron, at least until we got past him. 3.2 to the leader, but two lap cars in between us. I can't run the bottom off the corner anymore. It just snaps on exit. Not 
We're gonna have to run there when we catch some of these guys. Make sure I stay up in that second lane on the exit of turn four. This four is definitely a little snappier than two as I snap out of two. Calm that right rear down. Luckily, guy behind had a little moment. We got. We can't keep doing that. We keep doing that. The right rear is just going to continue to get worse. So I'm going to go very slow here for a second, which we need to anyways, because these guys are about to start racing. I don't think they're going to get it solved before we get to them, unfortunately. So we just got to cool the right rear off before we have an issue. 16 looks like he's going to wreck, trying to hold on to a spot. Uh, this is scary. Okay, 9 car says, hey, battle for seconds, probably more important, but the guy behind us was not ready for that. He gets completely trapped behind him. We lose a second and all that, but we're alive. Slow car down low, cast off down low. Go high. Eight car. Got 10 laps left. Just haven't seen that dirt Gavin guy in a while though after he got shuffled. He might be the car that's behind the pack behind us. Hopefully he didn't get wrecked somehow. 1.2 behind us until I did that. Now it's going to be a second or less. Lose two tenths over driving that. Okay. Gained a second on the leader because he had to avoid the car being sideways and he's in the middle of a bunch of people. But everyone just wants the checkered flag to come out before you get killed. Because they're trying. They are trying to get us. So we got any grip off the bottom now. Not if I overdrive. If I overdrive the entry like that. If we get slowed up too much though, the two car might come past us. He's about to make the move on the seven. He won't get here if, it, if we don't get checked up, but we got three lap cars here. Two of them are battling for position, and I'm trying to spin out all on my own. But these lap cars, everyone kind of seems to be even on speed at this point. So, unless one of them has a big bobble. 13 decides to move up off the bottom into the top lane. I was hoping to pass him up high. He's not racing any of these people. Uh, you gotta pick a lane, man. Like, stick to bottom or top. When he moved up to the top, I said, okay, I'm going to have to pass him low. So I try to go low into three, and he decides to go down there. This guy's going to hang down low. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh, 
think that guy's still on the front stretch having issues getting going. This guy's, I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to let us by, maybe. He stopped on entry. Then he turns down to try to get behind us. No reason to do that. We got this guy stopped on the back stretch. Why? Ten car is just not putting himself in a good spot. We survive. Zero incidents. Get P2. There's the flag. That it's dirt over. guy get. He got six. Good job. Very good job. Well, that was scary. That was a lot of people that didn't quite understand how to be predictable. And if you're not racing the guy, there's really no need for you to try to get down low behind him Boxing. Ten. and almost wreck him, which that guy almost did to us. 91.90. Nothing. Leader used up his right rear. We kept it even, which is amazing because I don't really ever keep things even, but we were slow. They were just slow. Had nothing for that guy. We could hold even with him later in the race, but as you saw, the lap cars were about running the same speed as us as well. 14 gets loose, saves it, then guns it up and slams it into the inside wall. All you gotta do is let it save itself, get everything caught up, and then, well, that guy really wanted to pass Gavin. That guy really wanted to pass Gavin. So much so that when Gavin got to the inside of the corner, this guy said, no, I wanted to be there, and he wasn't actually there until here. Here, he's maybe getting his front end. Where are we at? Let's, let's see. Front end's not there. Front end's not there. There it is. Nope, he's, he's gone. So, uh, yeah, the two car really, really, really wanted that spot at that time. And Gavin didn't have much say in it. What? What was happening here? What is going on with this bumper? I, I, we must have just got updated information on what his damage was, but it's just funny that it's right there at that point, and then he goes and gives himself some more damage. That was weird. And we got the Schnapple Dr. Pepper into the wall. A car, self spinning out of the corner inside wall. Eight car, self-spinning out of the corner. Outside wall. Eight car, self-spinning out of the corner. Middle wall. Sixteen. Getting sent around by the nine. Then this is where we have a scary moment. He sits there, he waits, he sees an opening, but he doesn't, he needed to just continue that burnout. And we just had to hope, and then he loses it again because his tires are roasted, and he's trying to get going too quick, which then puts two cars stopped on the front stretch. And then the four just intentionally wrecks the nine. Okay. Well, that was nice of him. Thought that name looked familiar. All right, so let's take a look at the results. We're going to gain 41 I rating. We're at a 499 and got zero incidents, as did most of the people. Um, and then 10 incidents by the 8. So, yeah, he had a rough time, kept self-spinning. I don't think we saw him all on that, but 
Uh, I don't think the replay could handle that many self-spins. No offense, sorry if you're a viewer, just making a joke. Um, you know what, we got out of there. I didn't have a whole lot of practice, and we finished ahead of where we were predicted to, so good for us. Um, yeah, sucks that Gavin got moved out of the way, but looks like he wasn't able to follow up through behind the two. So good run to him, though, keeping it going and not getting dumped right at that point. Hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching.